What's up, y'all? This your girl, G, with the T. This your first time here. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's help the channel grow. Today, I want to talk about how it's time for you to take accountability for your failed relationships. I'm tired of people blaming the partner. If that is what it did this, if that is what it did that different. But what about you? What could you have done different? See, this is the problem, especially to my ladies out there. We got good hearts especially to my good-hearted people, and we ignore 50 red flags right in our face. We ignore the red flags. We don't all do this at some point of our life. And it's time for us to take accountability for our bad, failed relationships. And then we cry, we getting taken advantage of, we cry, we getting cheated on. But you knew he had a woman when you met him. You knew he was dealing with somebody else, but yet and still you still slept with that man. You knew he was not financially stable when you met him. You knew he was living with his mama when you met him. You knew he that man ain't had no job when you met him. You knew he was just not trying to get on his feet. But yet and still, you still dated that man. You still dated that woman. You knew how she was coming. She was out here sleeping with different men for money. But yet and still, you upset because you got played. You knew in the beginning, he didn't want a relationship. Or she didn't want a relationship. You knew he had a lot of women when you met him, but yet and still, you still laid up with that man. So why are you mad? Why are you mad? You can't get mad at them for doing them. You knew who they was when you met them. When are you going to start taking accountability? When people show you who they are, believe them. Stop trying to change people. Stop settling. Stop dropping your standards to be with people. Stop trying to save people. You can't save nobody. And that's talking to my people with good hearts like myself. We tend to try to make people who we want them to be. We go in a relationship knowing they're not on our level. We see all the red flags. We see they ain't got their shit together. We see they're not stable. But yet and still, we try to save them. And guess what? They end up hurting us in the process. They end up hurting us in the process because guess what? They don't, they're not even stable enough to even have a meaningful relationship. Somebody know what a meaningful relationship is. So that being said, stop blaming them. Start blaming you. Start choosing better people in your life. Learn from them red flags. Learn your boundaries, things you like, you dislike from your last relationship. And be patient and learn how to be alone. The best thing you can do in 2024, because I'm going to speak from experience. The, the day in pool is it's sad out here right now. That bitch is drowning. It's drowning under six feet under. It's not a lot of good people out here. So I know it's hard to date. But my thing is this. Sometimes happiness relies within yourself. Learn how to be content and happy with yourself. And hopefully somebody will come along. But when you settle, you miserable as hell too. Because now you got to take care of that person. You're getting cheated on. They abusing you. They cheating you. They emotionally hurting you. They breaking down your self-esteem. So you're not happy either way. But at least if you stay up by yourself, you leave yourself available on a market to hope someday meet somebody that can meet up to at least half of your standards and make and bring some type of happiness to your life. My thing is this. If you're in a relationship and you're miserable, why is you in that relationship? Why is you in a relationship? A, re a relationship over 30 should do nothing but bring you happiness, especially if you financially stable and got your own bed. You don't need nobody for shit. To be honest, that should be your peace. That should be your joy. When you get done with work and having a long day of work and get into the bed, when you go home and your mate, they should bring peace to your life, happiness, entertainment, doing fun things because you got your financial shit already under control to my stable people out there. But when you got somebody who's not stable and not where you at, they bring you down. They drain you just like them. So start choosing better people and start taking accountability, y'all. I have to do the same shit myself. I have to start self-reflecting and realize why, 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 why does this keep happening to me? What am I doing wrong? Fuck what they doing wrong. What am I doing wrong? That's what I'm saying. Change start with you. Not keep looking at what they doing, what they doing. No, what are you doing? Because people only do what you allow. They can't come in your personal space and let you invite them. So stop looking like the victim and start taking accountability and start choosing better people. And don't be afraid to cut their ass off when you see they're not on your level. You see they're disrespectful. You see they're not trying to grow. You have to be okay with cutting their ass off 
and be comfortable with being by yourself and knowing your value, knowing your worth, knowing you deserve better. Once you know and hear you deserve better, the less likely you're going to deal with people bullshit. And that's the truth, y'all. Free game. It's your girl, G, with the T, man. Drop y'all comments below if y'all want to jump in this conversation. Because I know there's some people out here right now going through a bad relationship, breakup, or in a bad, unhealthy relationship who want to get out. They ain't got the strength to. But this, this is to y'all, man. Start loving yourself and put God first. He'll send you somebody. Free game, y'all.